Hi there, Jay Eichmann Road Test Success. This video can be your one-stop shop for all things for your driving test. It has everything in it. It starts out with the complete vehicle inspection, moves into the basic skills test in the parking lot to include the Y turns, parallel parking, stop line, and from there it goes into a comprehensive on-street driving test which includes things like left turns, right turns, intersections, stopping, driving straight through. It even has the freeway on there, urban, residential, collision avoidance. It's actually part of this test that you've got to verbally demonstrate or explain how you would avoid a head-on collision, railroad crossing. And in this test, they actually make you utilize the controls, some one-handed driving and say, turn on the radio or turn on the defroster while you drive. This is the one test, the one video, that if you study it, it will cover virtually every possible situation that you will come across on your own tests. I'm going to include all sorts of tips and tricks to help you as you go through this so that you, in studying this video, can become a successful driver and pass your driving test. You're watching YouTube channel Road Test Success, and our primary goal here is to help you become a safe, licensed driver. We do things a bit differently here. We use the comment section as a forum for you to help each other. So if you have any questions, or maybe you just need some encouragement, go ahead and post it in the comment section, and our viewers will jump in to help you out. So let's go ahead and get this test started with the pre-vehicle inspection. So in preparing to succeed in the test, a couple things. You want to have your document straight. You're going to need your permit, an ID card of some sort, the vehicle's registration, and the insurance. Now the test itself is made up of three different areas. The first is the inspection, goes by pretty fast, and then the basic controls, and then finally the on-road skills test. Now the vehicle inspection is covered, you cover these basic items here. Every state will have some sort of vehicle inspection. Make sure your vehicle is ready for the examination by going through the pre-vehicle inspection. It would stink to get to the driving test day and fail the driving test because your vehicle does not pass inspection. I'm going to go fill out some paperwork. I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll begin, so just sit tight and relax. So we're about to begin the basic control skills section of the test where you'll be demonstrating three maneuvers. The first will be stopping at a forward line, forward stop line, then the Y turn or three point turn, and finally parallel parking. Now you will be deducted if you touch a cone. You'll also be deducted for repositioning, which means going forward, reverse, forward, reverse, and also for your final position. Now on the forward stop line, you simply drive up to the coned line, and the objective is to stop within two feet of the line without going past. Now you cannot stick your head out the window. You've got to gauge your distance. And then beep your horn once you're complete. Okay, the next exercise is our backing exercise, the space right behind you. So I want you to back your vehicle on a curved path into that space. Stop when your rear bumper is as close to that line as you can get it without crossing it. Okay. This time if you want, you can look out of the window to help you see better. And when you're finished, put the vehicle in park and tap your horn. Okay, so whenever you're ready, you know. Now this is the Y turn maneuver or backing turn maneuver. You are backing so make sure you're looking over your shoulder, hand behind the passenger seat, looking out the back window and scanning your mirrors. Come back, scan your mirrors. On this one you can put your head out the window and just like the previous exercise you want your bumper within two feet of the stop line. Now I want you to notice something here. We're in the parking lot of a Best Buy. Hopefully this removes some of the mystery of the driving test for you. There's not some magical place where they test you. These are real streets, real parking lots. You can practice these same maneuvers in a parking lot. Okay, the last exercise is our parallel parking. It's a space over to your right here. So I want you to pull out of this space, turn right, get your vehicle set up to back into that space. When you're in position and ready to begin, tap your horn. When I hear the horn blow, I'll tell you to go. That's when I want you to back in. And when you're finished, put the vehicle in park and tap your horn. Okay, any questions? Okay, whenever you're ready, you can start. 
so now as we're pulling forward we're actually completing that Y turn and we're moving over to get it set up for our parallel park now this is the dreaded parallel park but with practice you can master this and that is the key here practice now as you pull up for the setup of your parallel park you want your rear bumper lined up with the rear bumper of the forward vehicle and you want to be about two feet away give yourself a little bit of room here now step two of the parallel park is reverse you're gonna do what's called a fast turn or sharp turn to the right and slowly back in toward the vehicle behind now you want to get to about 20 degrees here or when your back door passes the the rear bumper of that vehicle then you're going to straighten your wheel and continue to back up straight once your front bumper clears the rear bumper of the vehicle in front then sharp turn left or fast turn left and then complete moving into the parking space and the final step is to turn your wheels to the right straighten the wheels and center yourself in the parking place alright so far so good this student has completed the vehicle inspection and the basic control skills and now it's on to the street driving test now as you pull out here you should check your shoulder and signal remember everything you're demonstrating is part of the driving test Okay, so now we're going on to the road test, so I'm going to be giving you directions as we go along and marking the score sheet. So I want you to drive safely, obey all traffic laws, don't do anything illegal or unsafe. Make sure your traffic checks are obvious to me so I can see that you're doing those by moving your head when you do traffic checks. I'm also going to have you turn the radio on and turn the radio off, so make sure the radio is off. Make sure the air conditioning's on so we don't get too hot in here. I also want you to move We'll go over to where that stop sign is over there and then turn left when you get to the stop sign. Any questions? Okay. All right, the test is on. Everything you're doing, he's observing and grading you on. So even here in the parking lot, you're showing a good awareness. You're scanning left, right. You're signaling, right checking over your shoulder here, checking your rear view mirror. Now this examiner does a great job. He covers everything in this test. And he's going to be fidgeting around some and taking some notes. Don't let that throw you. Alright, full stop behind the sign. Now at this odd intersection here, as you pull forward, you're going to want to show scanning again. Scanning right. And up here at this stop sign, I want you to turn right. Turn right at the stop sign. So we're coming up on one of our first maneuvers here, and this is the right turn. There are multiple turns, obviously, in this test, but this one is one of the more difficult ones. Student rightfully stops behind the stop sign, full stop. Good job. And then comes forward. Now here's the tricky part. That minivan to his left is blocking his view. And so he should inch forward to get a clear view. But I think he may be a little intimidated. The examiner is actually going to coach him a little bit here. So that he can get a clear view. I have to pull up a little bit. Just can't see over that van. So we will be here until she leaves. So. Soon, so. so what we have here is a good example then of courtesy on the road. You're going to see a white, this white vehicle coming into screen here. 
you know, they recognize that you're trying to turn. Really, they should give you a place to come out. And instead, what this vehicle does is closes that gap, basically telling you, tough luck. So the car behind this white car is going to let him out. The examiner is going to encourage the student to enter into traffic. These things happen, and it can be a tough call on your part on how aggressive to be. Go. Up here at this next traffic light, I want you to turn right. So turn right at the next light up here. So as you complete that turn, check your rear view mirror, scan. Now you're going to enter a turn lane and you need to signal. A mirror check signal. But as soon as you get in this lane, I would suggest cancel the signal because you don't want to confuse someone who's trying to exit that parking lot. And now you would reactivate the signal after that parking lot exit. Let's take a look at this blue car in front of us. They've stopped twice because they've got a left, someone turning left in front of them. Uh, they're stopped in the crosswalk. That's a no-no. That would be a deduction. You do not block the crosswalk so that they inched forward and are blocking that crosswalk. If you had done that, you would have been deducted some points. Do not block crosswalks. Scanning as you turn, looking for pedestrians. You stay in the closest lane. And up here at the next street, I want you to turn left. So turn left at the next street up here. So this left turn's a bit tricky. There's a center turn lane, so and the student where this truck's turning with this uh, trailer. Student the needs to use street. it. Uh, he doesn't, and the examiner does correct him. You need to get in the turn lane. You can't turn from this lane, so. That's why they have a middle turn lane. Did you see that turn lane? Yes. Okay, so why did you take so long to get over and you can't even hardly get in the lane here? Sir. Now this is the deduction, but for this test you can have up to 25. Uh, this student does have jitters. It's the start of the test and there's been some tricky maneuvers already. He'll get much more calm and do much better as this test goes on. Now things like that are going to happen both in your examination and in real life. You've got to take a breath and recover. Simple maneuver here, just staying in lane as you go through and navigate a curve on the road. So I want you to explain to me what you would do to avoid a head-on collision of this car. We're coming at you in your lane, was going to hit you head-on. How would you try to avoid that collision? I would go to the right. Okay, so if you had to move off to the right side of the road and you couldn't find an open area like there is here and you had to hit something, what would you hit instead of getting hit by the car? What would be better to hit? Um, something soft. Like what? Try, um, I don't know, a tree is still hard, but it's better than the car. Okay, so. Much softer than a tree and that would be on the side of the road. Is it better to hit a tree or a mailbox? Tree or a trash can? Tree or a uh, bush? Which one is better? Be a bush would get the softer. Okay, so yeah, trash can, bush, mailbox, anything would be softer than a tree. So you can go around these people and we're not sure what they're doing, but obviously they're not, they're not either. So. And then uh, if you had to hit the, the bush with your car, would you hit it head on or would you try to side swipe it or glance off of it? So uh, I would try to side swipe. Okay. Up at the next light, I want you to turn left. So we're coming up on a left hand turn with a crosswalk. The student should signal. Make a smooth stop. We don't want jerking stops, so pressure on the brake and then a slight release of pressure just before you come to a complete stop. Now as this light changes to green, you want to show that you're checking the intersection. The examiner will be watching for you to scan left, right, scanning as you turn the corner. Now stay in that closer lane and check rear view mirror. When it's safe to do so, I want you to move one lane to the right. 
Now a great technique for lane changes is the smog technique, S-M-O-G. Step one is signal, S, signal. And let the signal work at least three seconds. And then M, mirror, checking move mirror. one lane to the left when it's safe. And then the O is over shoulder. You must check over your shoulder, obviously checking over your shoulder. And then the final step, G, is go. Signal, and let it work about three seconds. Mirror check. That would be the mirror towards the lane you're switching to. Then over the shoulder check towards the lane you're switching into. And then go when safe. So we have a couple things happening here at once. We were in the middle of changing back to the left lane. But we're going to be doing a straight through intersection with stop. And what they're going to be watching for here is that as you enter into this intersection, you're scanning left and right. So yes, the student's going straight through. Yes, they'll have the green light allowing them to proceed. But you still need to show defensive driving and awareness as this light changes to green. You're going to first check that crosswalk for pedestrians, someone on a bike trying to beat the light. And then as you enter into the intersection, you're going to show a quick scan left and right. And now as we come through that intersection, we're going to complete that previous maneuver, that lane change left, signal, check left mirror, obvious check over shoulder, and then go when safe. Safe distance from the car in front of you, you want about a three to four second gap. Great job. The students starting to get their confidence and doing a very good job. Scan mirrors, show the examiner, you're paying attention, you're defensive, you're alert. Can you turn the radio on for me, please? All right, what they're watching for here is lane position, a momentary look down as you find the control and activate it. No weaving as you go one-handed to adjust the control. It seems elementary, but these are things that an inexperienced driver struggles with. Practice this. Up here at the second light, I want you to turn right. So turn right at the light at the top of the hill. So a lot happened in the next few moments. The examiner did not tell him to change lanes. He will have to to perform this maneuver. And we're coming up on another maneuver straight through an intersection without stopping. Now, coming through intersections without a stop, you still have to scan. Show a scan. People may be running the light. There may be a pedestrian crossing against the light. Everything you do, they're observing. Mirror scan, rear view, left, right. To head towards Lansing, so take 96 East. All right, so here we go. We're getting on the expressway. Now, this is an on-ramp. 
This is to allow you to get up to a safe merging speed to get onto the expressway, and this student does not. A minimum merging speed, according to the driving manual, is 50 miles an hour. You want to be above that, so they have all this room for you to get on the accelerator. You should be at least at 50 miles an hour. Now you're checking, you're looking for an entry point, you're looking at traffic, you've got your signal on, left signal, you're checking over your shoulder, looking for your entry point, getting on the accelerator. You're going to be going at least 50 when you get onto the freeway, so you weren't quite up to 50, so next time make sure you speed up and get up to speed. So cars that are going 70 don't have to deal with somebody going 48, so... Why don't you move one lane to the left when it's safe to do so? Alright, signal, mirror check, over the shoulder, and when it's safe, go. And they're watching for you to maintain your speed and lane control. So often an inexperienced driver will move drift. One lane to the right when it's safe. They will drift left or right as they check their shoulder. So maintain lane control until it's safe to make the lane change. Do not drift in the lane. Maintain speed. Scanning mirrors. Next exit, exit 43A. I want you to exit the freeway, 28th Street West. Well, I flash forward a bit here because there was a few miles of freeway driving. You need to maintain speed as you're driving down the freeway, even as you prepare to exit. So he is in a dedicated lane to allow for this exit, but you still want to stay up to a near freeway driving speed. And only until you're on the off-ramp do you want to start to more aggressively decelerate. You can actually become a significant road hazard if you slow down too much while exiting the freeway. So most of the required maneuvers are completed at this point. We've got another tricky set of lane changes I'm going to flash forward to. And then we have our final maneuver the railroad crossing, which the examiner has some great advice to give. So we're going to flash forward to a few of these highlights, and then we're going to complete this test and see how this student has done. Now with the next light, I want you to turn left. So turn left at the next light. Turn signal on, that way they'll know what you're doing and maybe they'll let you go or, or speed up for you. So. so the takeaway tip here from the examiner is when you're trying to make a lane change, let people know. Turn your signal on. Most people will be courteous drivers and either speed up or slow down to allow you to come over. You don't wait for the opening to signal. You signal to help create the opening. So we're coming up on the final maneuver here, maneuver 10, the railroad crossing. And the student does botch it up a bit. Now the manual says to decelerate and check prior to crossing. This student, I would say, actually slows down. Speed limit's 45, and he gets down to about so 20. Why are we slowing down so much? Speed limit's 45 through here. Why are we slowing down to like 20? Just looking for the railroad case, but why would we slow down so much? The cars behind us. You know, may not be expecting you to slow down to 20 and the speed limit's 40 so you know there's no reason no reason to slow down that much so you can look through the look for the train before you get there you don't need to wait till you're actually crossing the track so by that time it's too late the trains already hit you so up here at the right the light I want you to turn right so yeah the tracks if they got a 45 mile per hour zone you can slow down to 40 but you certainly don't need to slow down to 20 because that's dangerous cars may not be paying attention next thing you know they're ramming into you because they don't expect you to stop for no reason so so this track here has got a speed limit of 35 so you can scan the tracks right now you don't see a train coming so there's no reason to slow down so 
And obviously this truck is, so you got to slow down for it. But no reason to slow down as much as you did before. So. So some good final advice from that examiner. Yes, you should be alert when crossing railroad tracks. Yes, you should take your foot off the gas and maybe decelerate a bit, but never at the expense of becoming a hazard to vehicles behind you or to vehicles in front of you. So let's flash forward to the end of this test and hear how the student did. So we're pulling back into the testing location, the start of the test, and this student has done a fine job. The examiner's done a fine job. This student has practiced. He practiced by watching videos like this. He's practiced by putting a lot of time in behind the wheel. Okay, so yes, the there were some nerves in the beginning, here, so you're not in the way. but he took a deep breath and he got Purple past those. Keep going straight. Now keep sometimes going things are going to happen Let's beyond your control and you may fail the test. Right That's here. okay. Keep going. Retool, practice some more, reschedule, and take the test again. Okay, put the vehicle in park. Okay, go. So congratulations, you passed. So good job. So I'm going to get your certificate here. You can take your certificate to the Secretary of State when you go, and they'll get you set up with your uh, permit. Okay, thanks so much. And then also.